I mean, one anecdote or, or I guess a silly um, occurrence that happens at our events. Uh, like a lot of NGBs, there's uh, officials and athletes that have been in the sport a long time, and some of them are very high strung and can be demanding at times. So uh, a lot of the uh, incidents maybe sometimes happen around food. We cater for our officials, and um, there's always weird uh, complaints or um, you know, have people asking for you know weird things. Everything from uh, more Asiago rolls to less cilantro on the rice to um, having meatloaf at every uh, event. So it's it, you know I just kind of have to take those complaints with a grain of salt. I know that uh, you know you're not if you're feeding 100 people, not everyone's going to be uh, perfectly happy with what you serve. But um, it's just kind of interesting to see people that have been in the sport a long time and. Um, as someone that hasn't been working in the sport, just um, kind of interacting with them is, is always a challenge, but it's also kind of funny too. Winding down at an event uh, usually includes running around the city, um, just putting my headphones in, trying to get away from things for a little bit, even if it's only for half an hour. Um, it's a great chance to explore the city, maybe see some neighborhoods that I wouldn't otherwise get to see, and um, just kind of get away from things for a little bit. Uh, so usually going for a jog uh, throughout the streets of the city, just kind of doing some exploring on my own is how I wind down. I find it difficult to wind down during an event. Uh, I'm always on call. I never can get too far away from the venue. Uh, so usually if I do get a chance to wind down, it's either right away when I get there or after the event is completed, I try to schedule my flight a little bit later so I get some chance to do some exploring on my own.